We are one of the partners who work on child protection issues and that's why we are here to make sure that children get an opportunity to interact, to participate, to enjoy. And in most cases, street children are left out. So that's why as a consortium, we always plan for this day on, on the 12th of April of every year. And this day is particularly important because we've not had the event for the past two years due to COVID. So we really wanted to have it today because the street children were feeling left out. And so there has been a lot of planning to ensure that the day is a success. And I want to thank the consortium, the different partners available because they were able to plan and execute. Um, and I'm happy because myself as an organization, as MCF, we were able to bring our children to be part of the event, and we've seen them perform, interact, and through these forums, we're able to understand the kind of life that street children face, and also we're able to donate like sanitary towels, we're able to do counseling, we're also able to have a medical camp whereby they're able to access medical care. So this is child protection, and that's our mandate. So I'm very happy that this day is a success, and I wish we'll be able to do this annually. Every year we bring together street children, and they're able to access these different um, things that they are not able to access when they are in their bases. Yeah. Uh, exactly. The theme for this year was promoting frontline workers and celebrating their work. And I must say, as front workers, we face challenges when dealing with children and generally children. So it's a platform for us also at, as frontline workers to come together, discuss with other frontline workers what challenges they face, what gaps are there, and how can we work together. So this day has provided us with a platform to come together and understand how we can work together for the benefit of the child.